Hello designers and welcome back to part two of our Onshape Crash Course tutorial. In the last lesson, we learned how to create this F1 block using precision measurements, sketches, and extrusions. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the spline tool and the mirror tool. And what we're going to do is cut out the actual shape of our car. So let's get started right away. The first thing I want to show you is the view cube. We've learned that we can tap this and change the view accordingly. But if you scroll down and you enable shaded with hidden edges, you can actually see edges that you can see through the block. They're indicated here. For example, you can see the end of the chamber hole that we cut. And we also can see the top edge of the tether line right here. This is important because we cannot cut through these areas during this lesson when we're shaping our car. Okay, first things first, let's swap to front view. So we're looking at the side of the car. I'm going to pinch to zoom just enough so that I can see the entire block and it's not getting cut off on both sides. And a cool thing to note is you can click this button at the top right here and that will lock any further movement for your view. We're going to create a new sketch and we're going to tap the side surface of this block and we're going to choose the spline tool. We now know that this is the very front of our car, so we cannot design anything on this block and we can see the top edge of the tether line guide at the bottom of the block. We can also see an indication of the end of the chamber hole and the rough area where this chamber hole is for the CO2 canister. We need to avoid these areas. Very carefully, the first point you're going to make is the very front of your car along this line. It's going to be slightly higher than the guideline for the tether. We've created a point. Moving to the right and slightly higher, I'm going to tap and I've created a second point and this creates a straight line. Moving further right and slightly higher, if I tap again, you can see that the line is auto curving. This is the power of the spline tool. Moving, moving further right and slightly higher, I'm going to tap right here. And now the line is bending back down. Notice that I've cleared the area of the CO2 canister. And finally, I'm going to tap somewhere on the top edge of the block. And I've created a very gentle aerodynamic curve. If I deactivate the spline tool, it becomes set and you can see the points more clearly. I've only used five points to create this curve. In the spline tool, the less points you use, the more smooth curve you create. Still in the sketch, I'm going to go to sketch tools, line. I'm going to carefully tap this last point that I made, the blue dot. And I'm just going to come back on the outside of the block, back towards this guideline point right here. I'm going to tap it and then finally tap the first point that we made. This creates a shape and you can see that it's turned gray to indicate that. Let's finish the sketch. Go back to isometric view. And now we're going to extrude. So we're going to go to our 3D features tool, extrude. And instead of trying to tap this and accidentally tapping faces that we don't want, we could just tap the sketch that we made. Set the operation to remove. And we could just grab this arrow and pull it all the way past the block to make our first side cut. Finish the extrude. That looks good. Now, the tricky part. We have to draw the shape of the car from the top view. First, let's change our view to top. And using two finger swipe, I'm going to rotate the view vertical so that our block is facing vertical and I can see the entire block. And I'm going to lock the view right here so that no rotations occur. This part is tricky. We need to draw the shape of the car from the top view. We need to consider that the car has a front tire over here and here and a rear tire somewhere in this area too. So that will dictate the shape of the car. Let's take the spline tool and we're going to choose the ground plane here, otherwise known as top. Spline. 
and very carefully tap to the left side of this hidden guideline and create a point. Now watch closely. My first point is going to go down and just a little bit to the left. My next point is going to go down and just a little bit to the left. I'm now approaching the middle area of the car in this zone. My next point is going to go down a little bit to the left. It's merging with this. That's fine. Now I'm going to come further right and come inwards. It creates a curve going inwards. I'm going to go directly down. And then finally, I'm going to come out to the side of the block right here. This area is where the back tire will normally be. That's why we, we pulled the shape inwards. I'm going to deactivate the spline tool. Go to line tool. Click this last point that I made. And I'm going to come back upwards. I'm going to very carefully click this dot here, which represents that guideline that we created. And I'm going to come across to the first point that we created. And that creates the shape. Now, as you can imagine, if I try to draw this shape on the other side, it's going to be difficult to make it symmetrical. Luckily, we have the mirror tool, which solves that problem for us. So let's go to sketch tools, choose mirror. And the first thing it's going to ask for is what is the mirror plane that we want to reflect this drawing over to the other side? We can guess that the mirror will be a vertical line, but if we try to tap this now, it might accidentally click the edge of the hidden tether line guide. So an easy way to tap this very center plane here, we know this is the front plane. It's just to scroll up here on the side menu on the left and tap front. Now I've selected that plane. And this has changed, and now it's asking what entities do we now want to mirror? Very carefully tap the lines that you want to mirror. On a PC or Mac, this is quite easy. You can just drag a box. But for iPad, you have to manually tap. We know we've succeeded because now this mirrored shape has turned gray as well. We can finish the sketch. Go back to isometric. Go to 3D features, extrude. And instead of tapping these two sketches, I'm just going to tap the sketch here. Set the operation to remove and simply drag this arrow upwards from the floor to the ceiling. That looks great. We now cut our shape of the car from the side and the shape of the car from the top. We have one last view to cut from, this back surface right here. Sketch tools. Tap this surface on the back. Always turn your view flat or head on. I'm going to pinch to zoom so I can see this clearly. And in this step, we're going to choose center point rectangle. And we're going to carefully tap roughly the center of this circle. On shape will determine the center and put a point where it needs to be. So I'm going to tap and I've created a point here. Now I can tap and drag that point and create a circle of my own sizing. We need to have that point to create a reference to do this drag operation. I'm going to drag it until it's touching the top, almost touching the top of the block and let go. Great. Now we're going to take the spline tool. We're going to tap this area of the blue circle just below the midpoint to create a point. I'm going to tap down into the left and then down into the left further to create a curve and then maybe one more point out this way. Don't worry if your curve does not match mine accurately, as long as you get a gentle curve coming out towards this way. Now we're going to take the line tool in the sketch tools, click that last point, and coming from the outside of the block, we're going to come up to the top. We're going to tap this front plane line right here. And this step is very important. You need to zoom in because you want to make sure that you tap the blue of the circle to complete the shape. You might accidentally click this point right here. Make sure that you tap the edge of the blue circle. 
And as you can see, we've created a shape because it's turned gray. Let's mirror so we don't have to go through the nightmare of drawing that again on the other side. What's the mirror plane? Let's scroll up to the top here and choose front. It's the same plane as before. What's the entities? Let's carefully tap the lines. Take your time with this. And it's turned gray, so we have a nice mirror. Let's finish the sketch. Go back to isometric or home view. 3D features, extrude. Let's pull this box down a little bit. Zoom in if you need to. We're carefully tapping only the areas out that we've drawn here. Do not tap this area right here. We're not extruding this area. So tap, 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 tap. All right, let's set the operation to remove. Let's zoom out a little bit. And we're gonna grab this arrow and pull it to the front of the car. And as you can see, it cuts a really cool aerodynamic shape. You don't want to go too far until you cut this block. So back it up a little bit if you need to. That looks good. And now we can finish the extrude. Let's hide our hidden edges again. So we're going to scroll down here. We'll just say shaded. And look at that. You've created a very aerodynamic demo model of an F1 car. So in this tutorial, you learned about the spline tool, the mirror tool, and how to cut a shape of a 3D object just by drawing what it looks like from different views. Thanks for watching.